Well, hey there. I am talking to you, Red Jackets. How are you feeling about where you're at in your business right now? One of the things that I have found for myself personally is I get a little frustrated from time to time because I'm not quite where I want to be. And that's a good thing. Don't be, you know, like hard on yourself. Be glad that you're dissatisfied. And, you know, Mary Kay Cosmetics is really good at making us dissatisfied. They put these fantastic promotions out there for us. And particularly right now, ready for red, um, racing for red, ready right now. I mean, we've got all these kind of little catchphrases that we go, ah, oh, that sounds so great. I want to do that. So we're racing for red. We're racing for red. And maybe, you know, the first month racing for red, you didn't quite race. <laughs> You thought you were going to race and you're kind of like maybe going, oh, what happened? And maybe some of you were really excited about what happened in September and, and yay for you. I mean, you read, you really need to celebrate. You need to like relish in that, roll around in it, um, have a party for yourself and, and celebrate big. Now, those of you that are going, oh, I, I did start out with a bang and maybe my bang kind of started out banging and then ended up with fizzle. Maybe it just was a sputter at the end of the month. But don't, you know, hang in there too long. I will tell you that um, I've had a lot of sputters. <laughs> 31 years, you can imagine that I've set a lot of goals, and I didn't particularly meet all those goals. And the worst thing that you can do is think on that too much. Don't do that to yourself. Mary Kay Cosmetics is a place where you can move forward and you can move forward quickly, or you can move forward um, and just kind of have a steady race, or you can zoom and then come to an eek, and that's a stop, and then pick it back up again. So we're gonna talk about that real quick. Um, and for some of you that maybe don't know me, my name is Karen Pappas, and I'm a future executive senior sales director at Mary Kay. And I started Mary Kay because I just wanted $50 extra a month. $50 extra a month, what does that look like? That doesn't look like much, right? So my big goals were not very big when I started because I really didn't get it. I didn't get it. I had a full-time job and I worked on my feet all day. So my feet were tired. And I had a small child. He was a year old. And he was a busy boy that was all over the place. And I loved my son tremendously, like all moms do. And I wanted to be home with him because I worked so much and I was away from him. I didn't want to do a whole lot. I just wanted that extra money so I could provide for him. And as women, even if you have a lot of extra money, um, you know, kids spell love. T-I-M-E. Isn't that true? T-I-M-E. So for me, I didn't want to be away from him because I knew that he wanted my time. So when Mary Kay came along, I looked at it as taking time away from my child. And I didn't quite get that I could transition from that job into Mary Kay and having more time with my child until I went to seminar. And that's when my mind was open to the possibility that maybe I could take Mary Kay and put it into my life as my full-time career because I didn't have the opportunity to go to school. So what I soon discovered is that that would be my school. Mary Kay could be my school and I could learn so much from it. And, and I did. I relished it. I grabbed a hold of it and I zoomed and I took off after I went to seminar. So I wanted to just talk to you about maybe you have a busy schedule like I did and I didn't want to take that time away from my family and all the activities that he was growing up and doing. You know, he was in all the sports and he was doing all those things and, and I really wanted to be at all of that and I didn't miss it. So, you know, being a young mom and working, and I was very active in my church and in my community. So, the, you know what, ladies, there's only so many hours in a day, right? So I was very strategic with my schedule. And what I learned to do, and with the help of my sales director, who also was a young mom coming up in her Mary Kay business, um, Pat Danforth, who's now retired, she's an emeritus, and she was the master. Because, you know, her husband was a pilot in the Air Force, and they moved a lot. They moved a lot in their Mary Kay um, business. And he was very successful. And so, you know, being a pilot, they have to move a lot. So she would pick up and move up, you know, everywhere across the country, across the world, because they lived in Germany too and so she was the master at it so she helped me to learn how to sprinkle my Mary Kay throughout my day and not feel overwhelmed because see, this is what women do we feel overwhelmed and then we feel guilty and we jump into these boxes and this is what I see women do we, we make these mistakes see we have our family box 
And so we jump in that a while. And then we feel guilty because we're not doing our Mary Kay. And then we jump out of that box and we jump into our Mary Kay box and we work like mad in our Mary Kay. And then if you have a job, you know, you've got to have that box because you're in that box all the time, you know, when you're working. And then you feel guilty because you're not, you know, with your family. And then you feel guilty because you're not doing church stuff and then your community stuff. And you're just like, oh my gosh, this is, I can't do it. I can't do it. And so we feel overwhelmed. So this is my answer for you. And this worked great for me. I sprinkled my Mary Kay through whatever I was doing. And you have to do it well. And this is what I mean by that. You have to look the part. Now, I'm not saying if you're going to a Little League game or you're going to a soccer game or football game that you're going to be dressed to the nines. That's just silly. You're not going to be. But what you can look like is the sharpest woman out there on the field. Scrib it for your child. Um, and when I, I wanted to be this person, I wanted to be the person that when I walked onto the practice field, they turned their head. Not because I had my heels on and it was digging into the ground. That's just silly. You know, you can have the cute little capris on with the cute little flats and the stylish hair and the cool accessories. You can look appropriate for the area that you're in or the activity that you're in, and they can look to see who it is. When they're walking by your car, does your car look like a trash can or does it look really clean because you've got your Mary Kay bumper sticker on there? When you go to take a business card out of your purse, are their corners all bent up and is it dirty? I mean, seriously, gang, I know. You need to have a slamming business card holder, even if it's the Mary Kay one. Don't have gum stuck to it or a wrapper stuck to it. I mean, seriously, I I'm telling you this because I've had people, you know, want to exchange cards with me and I'm going, that's the rattiest looking card I've ever gotten from a consultant. Seriously, gang, you need to look like a Mary Kay beauty consultant from head to toe, from the tippy top of your car to the back bumper, top to bottom. When you open your car door to get something out, is the carpet like covered with grass, dead grass? Um, are your cup holders, you know, can you even take the cup holder out and there's gum wrapper stuck? To, I mean, it sounds silly, but seriously, take and clean it out real quick and then just keep it clean. Take the trash out every time you go. And my kids were always in the back. They were always dropping french fries down in the thing or, you know, their cereal from going from here to there or their, their you know, um, goldfish you know, because I tried to eat healthy with them. I had to just take it, and every time I walked out, I took this stuff with me. Just it make it a habit because you have to look the part so that when you're out sprinkling your Mary Kay through your life, you have those opportunities, and you are the person they're talking to on the bench, screaming at the games, yay, and you've got your business card that you can pull out with the sample attached. I love, and I actually have it right here, excuse me, <laughs> because I've got my purse sitting right here. I have, I use these all the time, and it's the facial cleansing cloth, I'm not sure if you can see that, and I love to put my business card with a picture so that they can remember who you are, um, you know, after you leave them, um, their life moves on, so I've got the instructions, I redo it, now it's probably backwards and upside down, there we go, <laughs> um, I do redo the instructions, I just copy and paste from the Mary Kay website, is it upside down, good grief, Karen. Uh, I don't, you know, I've lost the ability to read upside down and backwards because my kids are all gray now. So that's important that they know what to do with it. And then I asked them if I could give them a call in a day or two to ask them what they thought of it and get their opinion. And I have a little, um, at the bottom it says use promo code FACIALCLOTH3 for $3 off on my website. Now, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to it's going to leave a memo. So just in the comment area, leave that promotional code if you like it and you'll get $3 off your first order. So, it's just a reason for them to go um, visit my website. And I put two of these. My goal is to give at least two out a day. And I go through a pack of these. My goal is to go through a pack of these because they only cost us $7.50 because they're $15 retail. And if they start getting ratty looking in my purse, I take them out and redo the bag. That's really important because you don't want to give something that looks bad it is our image. You're, you never have a second chance to make a good first impression. A good first impression. And that is what my national taught me. And the other thing I keep in my purse at all times, this is my little history of my Mary Kay life and my life. I started for the shoes because I always feel guilty buying things for myself. 
um, as a woman being young and not having the money to buy slam and shoes, um, I wanted fifty dollars extra a month, like I said. And so for me to be able to buy things for myself and not feel guilty, that's why I joined Mary Kay. Now, of course, now I buy whatever I want. But this is just my story, and you never know when you're sitting. Women love to look at pictures, right? So when I'm sitting there, we're just kind of like you know waiting for the kids to start to come on the field, and you know back in the day. Check this out. You're going to love it. There I am. Oh, my gosh. There's my son. He was two years old. Um, oh, my gosh. Is that crazy? And that's my little 12 by 65 trailer. I ragged the riches gang. And that's where I had my first facial, did my first party, in that dimly lit little tiny. Look at the raggedy plant. Is that a riot? It's so funny. And we're on this little wooden rocking horse. Look at the shoulder pads, gang. That's a riot, isn't it? So I just want you to know you can do anything in this business if you want it badly enough, you look the part, give out you know, samples, meet women, don't get overwhelmed with what you haven't done, but have desire. That's the one thing that I can't give you, that your sales director can't give you. Set your goals, reach out every day and just sprinkle your Mary Kay throughout your day giving out samples, meeting women. You're out living your life anyway with your busy lifestyle as, as young moms, working if you're, if you're single. Um, I've done Mary Kay single, married, with little babies, um, going through a horrible divorce, um, having miscarriages, raising teenagers, um, getting remarried and having a you know new husband. I don't want to do anything but be with my husband. <laughs> uh, building a new home, moving across the country from the East Coast to Texas now. So you know what, I've been there, I've done that, and I know what busy is, but here's the thing I want to tell you. While you're out being busy, those are people you may not ever meet again. So if you don't talk to them, somebody else might. And that's a scary thought. So talk to them. Just give them your card and say, I would just kill myself for not giving you my card. And you've been so lovely or your skin's so beautiful. Give a woman a sincere compliment because women know if it's not sincere. Because you have just cross paths. And I do believe God puts people in our paths for a reason. And don't let that blessing go past you. Seize the moment. Sprinkle your Mary Kay throughout your day and seize the moment. That's my message to you. So keep racing for red. Don't let this time go past you because now September's gone. We've got three more months left and you can't miss the beat. Keep on trucking.